Hi. Hi. Welcome to Off the Shelf with Christine and Katie. Valentine's Day isn't the only reason why love is in the air in February. It's also, also National Library Lovers Month. One of our favorites. Yes. <laughs> the entire month of February is dedicated to celebrating libraries, librarians, book lovers, lovers of libraries. And in fact, Library Lovers Day is on February 14th. How, how fortuitous. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this month we're sharing with you guys some of the books that our patrons loved the most last year. If you miss them then, now's the perfect time to check them out or add them to your TBR to read for this year. So, as always, settle in, grab a cup of your favorite beverage, and enjoy these recommendations. Let us know in the comments what you think of these picks and if you have any to add. What were your favorites of, like, last year? Mm -hmm. And, as always, if you wish to be notified of new videos, be sure to like and subscribe below. As always, we're going to get to those <laughs> books right now with the top 15 most checked mm -hmm. out. Katie, want to start? Okay, so starting us off are two very different books. Mm -hmm. uh, tied for 15 plates with 65 checkouts. It's a memoir by a former child actress and comedian, uh, Jeanette McCurdy. It is, I'm glad my mom died. <laughs> and it's and followed for, tied also for 15 plates, is a contemporary romance. It ends with us by Colleen Hoover. Who's surprised? <laughs> yes. <laughs> then coming in at number 14 with 66 checkouts is Tom Lake by Ann Patchett. It's a coming of age story described as a meditation on youthful love, married love, and the lives parents had before their children were born. Hmm. I'm sure it's going to be a hit with book clubs. Oh, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And right ahead with 67 checkouts is Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver. And is a historical fiction inspired by uh, Charles Dickens' David Copperfield, uh, but telling the story of a boy growing up in Appalachia. Hmm. Okay, next up we have Remarkably Bright Creature. Which Christine doesn't love at all. Shelby Van Pelt. That had a total of 69 checkouts. It's an exploration of friendship, reckoning, and hope, tracing a widow's unlikely connection to a giant Pacific octopus. This book, it's part mystery, it's part humorous fiction, it's just a great read overall. It has and something just for admire everyone. this cover. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Yep. And then there is a three-way tie for 11th place, uh, and with each having 70 checkouts. Mm -hmm. uh, one is a mystery, um, I Will Find You by Harlan Coben, who is always a favorite. Uh, Someone Else's Shoes by Jojo Moyes, uh, a female center, a female friendship-centered fiction, and The 23rd Midnight by James Patterson and Maxine Petro, and it is a woman's murder club mystery. Shocked, murder club mystery. Keep that series, that series going. <laughs> now, leading off our top ten is another murder investigation. Who's shocked? It's <laughs> Simply Lies by David Baldacci with seventy-one checkouts. Okay, and coming in at number nine with seventy-two checkouts is the Five Star Weekend by Ellen Hildebrand, which has been so popular this year. Uh, and she is a very popular author in contemporary fiction. And this book is described as a story about friendship. Love and self discovery set on Nantucket. Uh, it will be a weekend like no other as friends uh, from across decades gather together. <laughs> Next up are two by James Patterson that are both tied for eighth place with 73 checkouts. They're both murder mysteries. Shocked. Yes. <laughs> so we have Three Days to Live and Triple Cross, which is an Alex Cross thriller. Another popular series. Yeah. And another novel by Ellen Hildebrand called The Hotel Nantucket comes in next with 74 checkouts. And it is The Queen of Beach Reads delivers another winner in this tale about a summer of scandal at a story Ooh. Nantucket Hotel. I understand that the hotel in this is haunted, so oh, that might be That would be so awesome. Let's hope that's Can't right. to read it. <laughs> next up, we have a legal thr thriller by none other than John Grisham. It's The Boys from Biloxi. It has 71 checkouts. Always been so popular, that one. I yeah. still haven't read it. <laughs> okay. At number five, with 88 checkouts, is Hello Beautiful by Anne Napolitino. This is an Oprah's Book Club pick, and it's a fiction story of four sisters that has been called an homage to Louisa May Alcott's Little Woman. Hmm. That's hard to beat, though. <laughs> Give it a shot. Yeah. And with a total of 90 checkouts, our next title is The House Made by Frieda McFadden. It was on the Goodreads Choice Awards this year, and I know it was really popular. And it is about um, a psychological mystery thriller with a surprise twist, and it's perfect for fans of Ruth Ware and Lisa Jewell. Mm -hmm. 
All right, <laughs> now it starts with us by Colleen Hoover comes in at number three with 103 checkouts. Who's surprised? No surprise that this sequel to It Ends With Us is still a favorite. Um, we're not revealing any spoilers no. in case you haven't read the first one. So go back and read that first. Yes. <laughs> and coming in at number two is The House of Wolves by James Patterson and Mike Lupica with 106 checkouts. And this is a mystery thriller, who's surprised there, with a powerful, with a powerful family, a murder of, to be avenged, and a, a and football. <laughs> and football. This book is full of suspense and action. Man, he's got everything there. You have to have a sport if you have Mike Lupica. Well, I guess so. <laughs> what other choice you got? Okay, and we book before we get back to our number one title, uh, here are the books that we love the most this year. Uh, so I love two books by Agatha Christie. One is Endless Night, which is actually more of a horror vibe for her, which is very different, but also a little bit of mystery. Very interesting. And I also loved her And Then They Were None. It was one of our mystery book club picks, and I liked it a lot. Uh, and another one that I picked up is a historical fiction, which I don't normally pick up, but it sounded really interesting. It's a Scarlet Letter retelling, mm. and it's Hester by Laura Lico Albany. It's telling from the point of view of Hester Prynne. Nice. Um, so my most loved books, first off was Remarkably Bright Creatures I'd by say. Shelby Van Pelt. It was just a really good read and, um, you know, a little bit of spoilers, you do get to hear from the octopus for some of the um, chapters, and I think he had some of the yes. best parts of it sounds book. so goofy <laughs> but, but i understand people great. love it then um next i loved starling house by alex e harrow um it was a horror haunted house type book i've been reading a little bit more horror this year and this one um i just it was very enjoyable pulled in some old myth fables as mm -hmm. well so it was it was really good and lastly, I also enjoyed And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. It was a reread for me this year, but it has been so many years since I read it, and I still enjoy it. It was still one of my top That was picks. really nice. You recommended it to me, and I read it for the first time. It was very, very well done. Highly recommend. And now, for the book with the most checkouts in 2023, with a total of 190 check checkouts, we have Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Gamis. Not too surprised that this was a top title. It would be more surprising to me if you haven't heard about this book of chemist Elizabeth Zott turned television chef. Mm -hmm. It's set in 1960s California. It's a historical fiction tragic comedy, and it's the author's debut novel. Yes. I enjoyed it. Um, it also is an Apple TV show. T television series, which is kind of different from the book, but they were both yeah. really well done. So. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Go check this out if you're interested. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so those are some of our books that you, our patrons, love and us okay. love the most this year. <laughs> uh, we hope you enjoy. We hope you enjoy these as well. Did we miss any though of your favorites from last mm -hmm. year? Like, make sure to tell us in the comments what you read if they're not on this list. We are always on the lookout for a new read. Absolutely. And but until then, we'll see you next month. Happy reading. Take, Take care. care.